Hey guys, it's Dottie and Tasha. Welcome back to Wild Brew Productions. As promised, today we're going to review our three new official, not customized, hornless uniboos Ramsey, Heather, and Grindle. Let's go! Grindle, my first dragon since Sonora, and I love dragons. I love Grindle especially because of his colors. Red, black, and gold. My favorites. Some interesting things to note are the lack of nostrils and pore details, following the trend from Honora. It's a little sad Ty isn't giving as much detail to the dragons anymore, but it's okay considering that these details are hardly noticeable. While Ty removed the Unibu horn, the scratchy, sparkly fabric remains. I really wish it was replaced with the soft, shimmery fabric instead, because it means you don't get an exfoliation when you want to hug. But the scratchy fabric seems here to stay, as it is seen to continue across the other Beanie Boos. But overall, I really love Grindle without the horn. I think especially with him, being a dragon and all, the abnormally large horn looked really awkward on his tiny forehead. Here's his new poem to go with his new self. Bright red winged, but dark as the night. The moon comes out and I take flight. And his birthday is January the 30th. What I really liked about Ramsey was his colorful mane and the fact that he was really cute as well. He's got natural colored fur, except for the rainbow, which makes him really unique. Although, like my sister Dottie said, the scratchy material is a bit of a downside. It features on his ears. For some reason, this Ramsey still has the old version of the poem on his tag, which matches him if he had the horn. There is an updated Ramsey poem, which Dottie took a photo of in the store, so I can read that to you guys. I always tried to clear my head before it's time to go to bed, but I see lions when I sleep. I count them instead of sheep and his birthday is August the 16th. Finally, Heather. Heather is a super special Beanie Boo for me because I really wanted to get her after seeing her for the first time. But with the horn on her head, I couldn't bring myself to get her. Now though, it's a different story. Heather's standout feature is her dual colored eyes or heterochromia. So I guess the question is, Heather, do you have a favourite eye? Um, not really. Probably better that way. Heather also features multicoloured pastel fur and sparkly gold inner ears. Again, the scratchy fabric is a little annoying, but at least the ears are the only place it is. Her colours are very nice overall. She's also a cat, which is one of my favourite animals, equal to dragons and foxes. What are your favourite animals, Tasha? Cavoodle! Cool, but anyways, back to Heather. Here's her poem, which, just like the previous Beanie Boos, has been updated to match her without the horn. With one eye gold, the other blue, they twinkle when I look at you. I'm the prettiest cat you'll find, with pastel colours all combined. And Heather's birthday is on April the 26th. Well, we hope you enjoyed our review on our newest Beanie Boos. Make sure to keep an eye out in store for these guys. I'm sure many Beanie Boo collectors will be grateful to see Uniboos without their horns. Also, if you want to see our initial reaction to finding these guys, and a more in-depth talk about the Uniboo redesigns, check out the link in the description below for that video. If you liked this video, show your support by hitting the like button. Want to join the wild ones? Subscribe to our channel to join us. As always, stay wild, wild ones. Bye! Bye.